Hello there everyone, this is Lilith with another video for Altenew and today I'm going to be doing a mixed media card which was inspired about, by a layout that I created on my last Facebook Live. You can see that video if you go to the Altenew scrapbook blog. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, prepare some white cardstock, you could use watercolor paper if you prefer, with some gesso and I'm just using a palette knife and just adding a thin layer of gesso to it and then I'm tearing up some paper from a really old book which uh, I picked up when the library at our school was doing like a, a kind of uh, they were sorting through things and these were really old books they weren't that interesting but I usually use them for mixed media so here I'm just going to add a couple of layers of this paper and the gesso will help the paper stick to um, the cardstock. I have made lots of canvases like this, some of them are already seven, eight years old and I assure you it doesn't um, get loose or anything like that. So now I'm going to take a stencil, you could use whatever stencil you like, I'm going to use this lovely uh, a stencil from Altenew, you can get the links to this stencil on the Altenew scrapbook blog and I'm just going to add another layer of gesso and I'm applying it a little thicker but not too thick either and I'm just going to pop that stencil into some water and I'm going to leave this to dry. You could uh, speed up the process a little bit um, with a heat gun but I would advise you really to let it air dry and make sure that the gesso is really nice and dry. I'm adding a couple more pieces of paper just to make it show a little bit more but still leaving a lot of that texture from uh, the stencil. So I'm going to leave that to dry. Now once that is dry I'm going to add a little bit of watercolor and I'm using the Altenew watercolor pans for this and I'm going to be using uh, pinks and yellows as this was also the color combination I used on the Facebook live. So I'm just mixing these colors together and I'm adding a bit of water to um, my cardstock with all the texture and I'm just going to rub that over my uh, craft mat as you can see here just to get that uh, color onto my background and I'm going to add a little bit more color just with um, a watercolor brush as well just to get a bit darker color and just adding water and color all over the place and you will see once this is dry it will look pretty neat and we're also going to add a couple of splatters and you can also just take a bit of kitchen roll paper and just dab off the excess as I'm going to do here or dry it with your heat gun or just let it air dry if you want to as well. Now once that is all dry I can start making my card and as with my layout I'm going to take a couple of pattern papers. I'm using pattern papers from the 6x6 celebration kit from Altenew. I'm just going to layer them and then for my sentiments I'm going to use this lovely Thinking of You die from Altenew as well which I'm just going to stamp staple to my layers. So I'm keeping the same design elements as on the layout. Um, Unfortunately, my camera kind of had a freeze moment for the end, so you won't be able to see the end part of the video. But here's the final card where I added a couple of butterflies onto. So there you have it. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you very soon with another video for Altenew. Bye-bye.